this this is after the chase and the uh, uss what, vengeance mm -hmm. takes the enterprise out of warp with its weapons but doesn't that mean it shouldn't be close to earth i got confused on the distances here the distances don't make sense Oops, super scary but super cool we're 237,000 kilometers from earth so that moon distance all right so does that mean the enterprise was planning on going past earth because if he got they got shot out of warp that means they That's fell right. out of warp at earth i mean moon is so close to earth it might as well be earth right that they were essentially planning on going past earth you're saying because they you're saying that the enterprise was already was not going to exit at warp they got they got forcibly removed from warp right when when marcus shot them out right. so if they were if they weren't already coming to a stop then how did they stop here? Right. Does that mean they're planning to overshoot? I mean, I guess. They had to have been because light speed from moon to earth is about one to two seconds, I think. So if you're going to warp, which is faster than light speed, it's less than that. So Sulu has like <laughs> sub, <laughs> sub nanosecond, like stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so I think that means they must have been going past earth. Maybe they're trying to draw the vengeance away from earth. Maybe, 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 I don't know. Maybe. I don't the thing know. that really bothered me about this scene was how quick it was. So for, for the Enterprise to go from Earth out to Klingon, to, no, not Klingon, to, Klingon what's the planet? It was the edge Klingon of Klingon space. space. But the, so the home world. fire at Kronos. Kronos, thank you. For, mm -hmm. So for, for the Enterprise to go from Earth to Kronos, it was at least several hours because they mm -hmm. had time to like arrange stuff on the ship and talk and I don't know, whatever st strategic they have. Mm -hmm. um, but then on the way back, they they left Kronos and then within a few minutes, the vengeance here is attacking, attacking mm -hmm. the Enterprise. So it was somehow really close. Yeah, so those, that's a discrepancy in time. So it should be, Klingon Empire should be fairly far away and at warp five, which I think the original enterprise goes at, mm -hmm. I think it's a long time. It could be even be days. I mean, it needs to be at least as far as it was to get there. That's right. And they just certainly felt like when they were going out to the edge of Klingon space, it took a long time, mm -hmm. at least a day, something like that. They had mm -hmm. at least hours to like wander around, do discussions. They had time out. to change uniforms and get into that pirate mm -hmm. ship. That's right. So and super then weird. when they come back, it's minutes, but minutes, there wasn't a hot swap of the Enterprise's engines, you know? Yeah, it didn't, so, get, it didn't get upgraded. So how is the ship faster now? Weird. It, yeah. yeah. It doesn't make but I, I guess I get it because you can't have like a, I can't have the USS Vengeance has been chasing us for three days. Like, but weird. weird Maybe there was of, a time skip. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Weird scene. I, know, I didn't, didn't. It was very weird to me. 